Good day guys. So last night I was watching a YouTube video. Um, those two YouTubers are called Jenny and Davis. Um, I'll put the, the link in the description. Anyways, uh, they're a young, uh, cute couple and they started their own woodworking business and they're making a lot of cutting boards. Um, they, they build a lot of stuff too, but they do make a lot of cutting boards. And uh, he was uh, showing uh, his frustration uh, with cutting hard maple on a table saw because uh, often when you get hard maple, there's a lot of stress in the wood. And when you cut it, especially if you cut like a big white hard maple plank like that, if you, if you cut it right in half, let's say this is 10 inches wide, you cut it in half, so now you, you got five inch of wood here and let's say there's a lot of stress and it starts to pinch on the on the riving knife and then it it makes it almost impossible to push through because it pinches on the riving knife so hard not every board is like that but maybe 30 percent there's an awful lot anyways when you, you go into hard maple so a, a lot of people in the comment section were were watching his videos and they were saying why are you cutting all the slats on your on your bandsaw and then he showed why he says because when I cut hard maple he's got um mind you he doesn't have a sliding table saw like this but he's got a regular cabinet saw with a two horsepower and you know he's pushing the wood against the fence like a, a normal uh, cabinet table saw and he had a hard time pushing it through the wood was burning and so anyways he, he got a whole bunch of comments and everybody says don't put a, a you know a general purpose blade. Put a, a ripping blade on it with fewer uh, tooth on the blade, maybe a, a 24 tooth blade. So that's what he did. He went to the store and, and bought a blade, and things were much better. But still, he, there was a little bit of pinching involved. Uh, so then he 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 uh, cut cut about uh, 20 pieces on the bandsaw blade, and he timed himself and. Um, no, actually he cut 22 pieces on the bandsaw and uh, it took him 4 minutes and 8 seconds. And then he timed himself to cut actually the second time was 19 pieces on the table saw with, with the proper blade, the, the ripping blade. And uh, for 19 pieces, and not 22 but 19, it took him uh, 4 minutes and 20 seconds. So even with a good blade with the hard maple, he found that with the, the bandsaw, it was still quicker. So I'm curious to know now, with a, I got a sliding table saw. Um, I'm going to use my Fritz and Franz jig and I'm going to cut a whole bunch of pieces and I'm going to time myself. But this is not the same. This is a sliding table saw. Uh, it's not a two horsepower motor. It's a four horsepower motor. And also I got a very thin blade. It's a the tooth on it, they're not carbides, they're diamond. And I did pay $700 for that blade and it, it really cuts good. Um, I already know from experience that I got the same problem too. If I cut a board like that in half, you, you got a lot of material on each side there that, and if there's stress, it, it will pinch on the riving knife and it, it makes it almost impossible to, to push through sometimes. Sometimes I even have to back up and recut on the groove because it, it closes itself on the on the riving knife but you know i i reached out to uh to jenny and davis and uh i think davis replied to me because i wanted to know how wide this the slats he was cutting and he told me an inch and a quarter so i want to be fair and i want to do the same test and he told me it was uh, eight quarter wood, which this is eight quarter this was already plain so it might be slightly thinner um, I planed this a while ago and the wood wasn't completely dry. It was just to make it a little bit prettier. So it was worked a little bit. So I jointed uh, just at the bottom so it stays flat. Uh, same as Jenny and Davis channel. Um, they, they, they jointed uh, at least one side anyways. So I got a full inch and three quarter thick. So I'm assuming it's, it's pretty much the same thickness as he's got. I didn't ask him how long his pieces were, um, but they look like around 20 inches. This is 21 inches. So anyways, I'm going to do this with my Fritz and Franz jig, right? So I got my fence here set an inch and a quarter. 
And then after um, those pieces left at the end, let's say I got an inch and a half, all I have to do is uh, flip the stopper here and this is set at inch and a quarter. So I'll just flip my piece and put it against here and, um, and just, just cut the last piece so I don't waste any wood. So anyway, so uh, let's see if the sliding table saw, if this is the best way to cut slats for a cutting board, let's see how fast it is. So uh, I gotta beat four minutes and eight seconds anyway. So let's try this out guys. All right guys, so I just wanted to show you, so I'm just gonna use my Fritz and Franz jig. I've got my uh, fence stopper set at an inch and a quarter. Okay, and the, and the fence is back right out. So it's the, the piece of wood's gonna have uh, room to move. And uh, this is what I was telling you about. This is my diamond blade. The, the tips are actually man-made diamonds. So that's why this blade costs $700. This blade will cut really nice. It will cut, cross cut nice, rip cut, uh, even up to three inch hard maple, I can rip cut uh, no problem at all. And uh, it, it's also a very thin blade. So that probably helps a lot too. Um, like I said earlier, I got problems with binding to uh, hard maple that's got stress, but I'm cutting strips here, they're only inch and a quarter wide, so that's not going to pinch against the blade uh, very hard uh, from my experience, I shouldn't have any problems at all. Also, I'm going to be pushing here on this carriage, right? So. There's, I can push a lot harder on this carriage than I could just push it, pushing the piece of wood like on a regular table saw. So for that reason, I think this setup here will be much quicker than a regular table saw and even the bandsaw. So anyways, let's try this out.
right guys, so what have we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now these pieces of wood, they look smaller. Um, that's because they are. I, I cut it on the wrong direction. But anyways, nevertheless, I still made 20 cuts in uh, 3 minutes. So, um, so now we know the... The sliding table saw is definitely the fastest way to cut slats and um, so put them sideways like this so this is the cut. <clears throat> this is the way that the blade, the blade cut them so as you can see there's, there's no burn marks anywhere. Um, that diamond blade is, uh, is really really amazing. Yeah there's no burn marks. Nowhere, and um, these here, these here are ready to glue up. There's uh, you don't you don't need with this diamond blade. You don't need to put that through a planer. This is um, that's how I do my glue ups now. I I don't plane them. It's just straight off the the diamond blade there on the sliding table saw, and uh, my glue ups uh, they're always a hundred percent. Oh, this is the, I don't know if you can see that, how nice the, the diamond blade makes the cut there. It's almost like shiny. Yeah, I mean, some place you can see like the, the little scratch marks from the blade, but mostly like at the end of the piece. Yeah, you can see it a little bit, but it, it's so, so minimal that, uh, like I said, you can just glue that up. All right guys, so the purpose of this video was not to show you that you should be buying a sliding table saw to cut slats to make cutting board, so that's not what I'm saying at all. But I was just curious to see if that was uh, the fastest way to cut a bunch of slats, and um, it seems to be. So, um, you, you know, I'm, I'm sure Jenny and Davis are not going to buy a $25,000 table saw for their cutting boards, but you never know maybe later on when they get super busy They'll have a bigger shop. Maybe it will make more sense for them uh, then we'll see But uh, anyways guys uh, don't forget to watch their channel. They're they're a cute young couple and uh, They're getting very successful with their small woodworking business and uh, it's always nice to see I'm sure they work really hard. So uh, again, Jenny and Davis, congrats. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.